اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session I'm going to talk about how to report hypothesis tests based on the output from Smart PLS or EMOS in a research paper or a thesis. Let's assume I've got these two hypotheses here. The first one where I look into the impact of collaborative culture on organizational performance. The second one where I'm assessing the impact of role ambiguity on organizational performance. So we normally put in this heading of structural model assessment after we have done our measurement model assessment. How to do measurement model assessment or report measurement model assessment? The link will be shared in the description. The first thing following the assessment of the measurement model, the next step is the evaluation of structural path. Which structural path? In this session, I'm going to use this example. I've already run the bootstrapping. And these are the two variables influencing organizational performance. Now, here are my results, the path coefficients. This is my H1, this is my H2. Now, these are the results and how do we report it? We simply do it like this. The first step, you briefly describe your hypothesis. H1 evaluates whether collaborative culture significantly and positively affects organizational performance. The results revealed that collaborative culture has a significant and positive impact on organizational performance. So your beta value, your T value and your P value. Now since it is less than 0.05, your H1 is supported. This is how you report a simple hypothesis. And in this case, this was collaborative culture on organizational performance. Collaborative culture, organizational performance. Next thing, H2. H2 evaluates whether role ambiguity has a significantly negative impact on organizational performance. The results show that role ambiguity has a significantly negative impact on organizational performance. Following this, just write your beta value, your T value and your P value, which is less than 0.001 in this case. And again, your H2 was supported. Next thing, you report or present your results in a table like this. First mention your hypothesis, then your beta values, your standard errors, your t-statistics, your p-values and finally the results if they are supported. Again, a brief description of what is in the table. The abbreviations should also be presented. Next, you report your figure, that is your structural model. Here, I did not report the third one, but doesn't matter, you can report the third one in a similar fashion. Now, what if your hypothesis in, is insignificant? So how to write an insignificant hypothesis results? For example, let's say H1 evaluates whether collaborative culture significantly and positively affects organizational performance. The results revealed that CC, that is your collaborative culture, has an insignificant impact. When it is insignificant, we simply write insignificant impact on OP. Again, mention your beta value, your T value, and your P value with an with an equal to sign because it will be greater than 0.05 and then your H1 was not supported. What if we want to report these results from AMOS? Again, the same procedure is followed. Let's go to the output, go to estimates and look at this. This is your estimate, standard error, CR value, that is your T value and your P value. In this case, it is less than 0.001. You just have to copy these results into the Word document here. Just like this, just like we did it with Smart PLS. So this is how you can report your hypothesis results from any software. In this case, I've just used the two examples. Thank you very much.